Life is hard. See, it's hard when, when you are 49 years old, been working on a job for 17 years, and they come in and tell you you're finished and give you one week severance pay. And you got to start all over again. It's hard when you are married and raising children and your children are crawling and your husband dies unexpectedly. It's hard handling just the tragedies of life. It's hard when you're working on something and, and you put everything you have in it and it doesn't work out. You lose your money and other people's money. It's hard. It was rough when I lost my job and I could not find a job. It was humiliating and embarrassing, borrowing money. And then I couldn't pay the money back when I told them I would. That's rough. How people look at you, how they respond to you. It's very hard. It's humiliating. Here's what I discovered that happens to you in life, that you will go through things and while you're going through them, you can't understand why it's happening to you. But after you go through it, you get back and you look at it and you say, oh, now I understand why I needed that lesson. But after I got through it, then I saw that that was preparing me for bigger and better things. As you go through the challenges of life and you look at it and embrace whatever comes to you, don't run from it, step toward it. Don't try and duck it like most people do. See, most people want it easy. See, easy come, easy what? Easy go. See, but when you go at what you're going to deal with and you deal with the difficulties of it, when you handle those hard things close at hand, making those hard decisions right now that you don't want to make, learning those things that you don't like to do, but you know that in order for you to get where you want to go, this is one of the hoops that you have to flip through. Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. You just got to quit tripping while you're in the process because the process is necessary. You may not see it now, but when he gets you on the other side of it, you're going to see exactly why it went that way. And you're going to be okay with it. But quit tripping during the process. Oh, Lord, why me? You ain't the only one. Oh, Lord, why me? You ain't the only one. Oh, Lord, why I lose my job? You ain't the only one unemployed. Oh, Lord, why he leave me? You ain't, you ain't the first chick got left. Lord, if I could just stay with him a little bit longer. Maybe you don't need him. Maybe he the reason you ain't got nothing now. Well, I don't want to leave him because I've been with him eight years. Well, hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You want eight more years of this? Let his monkey ass go. But now, God can't give you what you want because you want to hold on to what you got. You all in the way. Now you telling him how to bless you. You can't tell God how to bless you. It's a simple process. The only reason I'm telling you this because this is how I made it. I just do me. I just, I'm just being me. I stay uniquely who I am because you are okay just the way you are because you, God made you uniquely who you are. He wanted you to be just like you are.